know that hip stability is important. So if you're here and you're looking at ways to improve your hip stabilization as well as your hip mobility, this is gonna be a really wonderful exercise for you. So these are hip airplanes. You've probably seen something like this similar in yoga classes or other things like that. But essentially, I'm gonna give you some progressions that help you get to where we wanna go. And what we're looking for here is simply control, right? So we're less concerned about the overall range of motion that we're trying to accomplish in this motion. We're more, uh, more importantly, we're looking at how do we, or how much control do you have as we move through those ranges of motion. So I'm gonna give two progressions before we show like the full motion. And what, the, and what we wanna try to do here is just give a little bit of balance, whether I'm holding here or whether I have my back foot on the ground, to just help our body feel more confident about how it's supposed to turn around the hip. So the goal here is if this is my femur, my pelvis is here, it's really my pelvis and my whole body that's rolling around the ball and socket, as opposed to what we typically see, the leg moving around the pelvis. So in this position, I'm gonna have my left foot forward, right foot back, I have one to two pounds of pressure on this back side, and I'm going to go through a hinge motion. So I'm softening the knee and I'm sitting into this hip joint and pushing my pocket back. From here, I'm gonna take my whole pelvis and body and turn towards the camera, turn towards you. And then from here, I'm gonna open everything the other way. So the whole pelvis and system now is going around an external rotation, right? The intention is to have everything come with me. I don't wanna have my pelvis here and just move my torso. The intention is to take the pelvis down and in and then bring the pelvis all the way around, right? Now again, that back foot is just there for a little bit of support. So I'm just trying to teach my body what does it look like and what does it feel like to, to move around the hip. From there, we can take it a step further and I can have my hands here and bring this one off, off the ground. Now, with that back foot airborne, I can get more rotation out of the pelvis. I'm gonna open that, and then I'm gonna close the inside. And again, you're just thinking about that pelvis and that body rolling around the leg. And then fully, we'll see if I got this right, I'm gonna be in a balanced exercise where now I don't have any base of support and I'm trying to open and then I'm trying to close it, right? Oh, you see I got off there a little bit. And it's okay to have a little bit here for just that little bit of control if you need it, if the majority of me is still doing the motion without support to win. And that's what balance is. Balance is pushing that edge of feeling slightly unstable and then trying to have your body control and gather and reorganize that control system. So very good for proprioceptive awareness, especially when you're talking about sports or athletics or any sort of return to fitness in which we need to have more awareness around how our body articulates around the hip. Uh -huh.